Hello and welcome to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting where today I'm going to be talking about vomit. So the big question is this, how are parents like us who don't have a manual, who are doing the best we can, who feel as though we aren't enough, how are we going to raise healthy, happy children who we are proud of and still keep our sanity in that process? That's the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Ryan Roy, and welcome to I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, a podcast for parents who are being real with themselves. Hey, welcome back to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm going to be talking about vomit, puke, blowing chunks, whatever it may be. Ladies, if you're still here with me, or you're just completely curious. It actually stems from a question I got from a friend of mine who says, does vomit bother you? Like if I thought, if I saw someone vomit, I would probably vomit myself. Now, I'm gonna tell you the story around that. We were on vacation and uh, the entire family caught a little bit of a virus. I caught it first. I just had some stomach cramps. Uh, the baby caught it after I did. He did projectile vomit uh, all over daddy, right? No no big deal. And then my wife caught it and she got it going out the other end. And then lastly, uh, my older son caught it and he really, uh, the baby only got it once. My older son projectile vomited in dry heat for quite some time as it stuck with him for a few hours. Uh, where he was trying to get it out of his system. So as I proceeded to tell my friend, as he asked me how my vacation went, I told him the story in much more depth than I'm sharing with you here. And he said to me, wow, like if I saw someone vomit, I think that would make me vomit. And he says, "Uh, that doesn't bother you? (laughs) And my response to him in that moment was, dude, I'm a parent. I wipe shitty diapers and they come in all shapes and forms and consistencies multiple times a day in addition to get thrown up on, watch throw up, pee on toilets, you name it, it happens. I have boys, they miss, they st- one still in diapers. It's just, a, it's just a disaster. And if I was focused on bodily fluids that way, uh, I would be having a rough go of it every single day. So I think it's funny how a non-parent versus a parent views poop and vomit. Uh, and as ladies, dads, as, and the, there's probably some dads out there like, that's why I don't wipe butts that's why I don't change diapers to you I would say and this is going to be a little harsh it's in my book about changing diapers Um, parenthood is about unconditional love and when my children I don't see vomit I don't see poop what I see is my child in need if there's a dirty diaper I, I can't imagine what it would be like to sit in a soiled diaper or walk around in a soiled diaper. It can't be comfortable, right? There's potential for rash. There's, it's just ugly. I, I mean, I got a 20 month old child who's had one rash and it's because he was teething in, in 20 months. Because when there's a diaper that needs to be changed, we change it. And when I hear the dad or, or an uncle or any man, because there's not a mom out there who hasn't ever changed a diaper, say, oh man, I'm not changing diapers. I hear conditional love. And parenthood should be unconditional love. When my son vomited all over me, the last thing that ran through my head was like, how could you like hit me? Why did you turn your head? Like None of that goes through my head. It's like, what, what do I need to do to comfort my sick child in this moment. And obviously we need to change and clean it up, but that's just like the last thing in your mind, or my mind anyway. Like it's just about unconditional love. So no, I don't get queasy around vomit, nor do I think there's a mom on the planet 
who does because all I see is my child in need a sick child or a child with a soiled diaper is a child in need and it's my job to 100% fill that need because they can't do it for themselves so there's my discussion on vomit but more importantly puke see I don't know anything about parenting as a matter of fact I don't know jack about parenting but I do know what it is to be sick I do know what it is to be uncomfortable and I think as parents one of our ultimate jobs is to comfort our children because if they know that they're safe and they're comfortable they have room to grow and blossom and flourish but if we can't even if we get sick what what would go through a child's mind if they threw up and then mom or dad threw up probably like wow i feel bad i made mom or dad throw up when the last thing on their mind should be concern for us if i gagged when i had to change a diaper he doesn't have any other choice but to go in the diaper. He's not. He's going through potty training now, but he doesn't know any better. How would that subconsciously affect a child if every time I went to go change him, I showed that I didn't like doing it? It's, it's our job. We just do our job. And our job as parents is to, number one, make our children feel safe, and do our best to make them feel comfortable in areas that they can't comfort themselves. That just makes sense to me. So this is probably one of my shorter podcasts, but I just wanted to talk about vomit a little bit. We'll see you in the next episode. Do you want to be the dad you wish you had? If so, go get my free book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had, at be the dad you wish you had.com. Inside, you'll find my most effective 40 tips to quickly and easily transform yourself into the ideal dad. Go to be the dad you wish you had.com now and get it while it's free.